if you have a larger setup, you know, let's say larger than the, the 10 pieces I have, you can actually click on an 18 piece kit. Looks really awesome. Or, you know, for you crazy guys out there, a 32 piece kit. You can load all of these with different samples and assign them to all of your individual kit pieces. It makes it awesome for auxiliary percussion. Um, if you just have a really big size kit, it can handle up to 32 pieces. Really cool. Now some of the preset kits that they have uh, would be a Black Oyster kit. It's a really sweet sounding kit. We've got a DW kit, a Fibes kit, Gretsch, we've got a couple of my presets in there. Orange County, some Ludwig, some Vista Lights. We've got Pearl Masterworks. We've got a Tamburo, which a lot of people uh, have been checking out recently the pork pie kit and of course a nice standard Rogers kit with the Brady snare. Now as for individual kit pieces let's look at the snares. Now here we've got some really really cool ones. We've got a Blyfus snare, Brady, one of my personal favorites the Black Beauty Ludwig snare. We've got an old-time Dixieland snare from Gretsch, an Orange County 10 lug vented snare, We've got a Radio King, and we've got a good selection of kick drums also. Coming standard with BFD2, you have a really tight DW kick. We've got Gretsch, of course Orange County, we've got the Pearl Masterworks, the Fives kick, the Kick of Doom from Ludwig, a Vistalite kit. We've got the Tamburo Opera kick. It sounds really cool, it's got a really nice tone to it. Now let's say you want to uh, load a new kit piece. Uh, it's really easy. You just click, let's say we look at the toms. We've got all the individual toms here. Um, I want to use an Orange County tom. All I do is either double click or simply highlight and hit load and it loads right up. Alright, so now I'm going to run through the actual kit pieces that I'm going to use. Here I've got a Noble and Cooley snare. I've got an Orange County kick drum. I'm using a couple of Rogers XP8 toms with a Pearl Masterworks floor tom. Now I've constructed this entire kit solely from what they have in BFD2. I haven't used a preset here. I've got Sabian AA hats. I've got a 22 inch Custom K uh, Session Crash. A 17 inch Custom A Zildjian Crash with a 22 inch Old Ride. Really, really nice set. If you notice up here, I can actually do a couple different presets. I can make anything sound real dry. I can put it in a small room. I can do it in a wide room, a large room, if I want some more of a, a bigger room sound. Now what I like to do with the kick drum is put it on a low and dirty setting. Now it sounds funny, sure, but it sounds great. It's a really deep, really cool attack sound. So now in BFD2, you have a lot of control over each kit piece. Here I've got the snare selected. Now I can control the trim. I can pan left and right. I can mute solo. Now what's really cool is I can actually change the overhead mic volume, the room mics, the ambient mics, whatever I want. I can fully customize my sound. I can also tune each drum. I can change the dynamic level of each drum and also the kick bleed and snare bleed. If I want to turn those off I can do that. If I want more of a tight studio sound I can just turn it all off or if I want more of that natural sound I can just leave them right on. Master dynamics, master tuning and the humanize function. Humanize is really cool because it actually uh, randomizes the velocity for each kit piece. So if I want more of a natural sound I'll just boost that now what's really cool here is the key mapping in BFD2. It makes it so easy to change your kit pieces around, uh, MIDI map it specifically for whatever you're using. Here with the Alesis Trigger I.O. I can just go in, I can tap on my snare, and here highlighted in light blue is where my snare drum hit MIDI note is. 
This one's D3. So let's say instead of an actual snare hit, I want a side stick sound on the head of my drum. Now I drag and drop, which is really awesome, my snare drum picture onto the D3 key. And it gives me all the articulations from a hit, a drag, a flam, rim shot, side stick, kind of a half hit, and all the in-betweens. So here if I wanted to, I could click side stick, and so then on the head of my drum, would hear the familiar side stick sound. So what's cool about this, if I wanted to, I could hit my Tom 1, it highlights in light blue, and if I wanted to, let's put, uh, let's put my kick drum on that Tom hit. So right there, I've overlapped my kick on my Tom, and now it'll show me that I've got two different hits there. It'll recognize only one of those. Right now highlighted is the tom hit, as you would expect. So all I have to do is hit this X, it deletes it, now I've got a kick sound on my high tom. Another awesome feature with BFD2 is the full control over the actual sets of microphones in this virtual drum room. Now if I wanted the overheads farther away from my kit, I can do that. If I want the room mics farther away, done. If I want the ambient mics farther away, it's easy. I can actually control the width. If I want them wider, if I want a huge drum sound, I can go for it. It's right here, it's easy. So that's my BFD2 walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it, because I know I did. It brings me great honor to give you the future of drumming, VPT. So leave some comments below. Keep sending me messages, because I get back to 100% of them. I definitely appreciate all the comments and views on my other videos, so keep those coming. This is Mikey VPT, signing out, and we'll see you next time.